Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to more Oblivion Crips, check it out, just got myself the latest edition of the crappy wooden chair, this baby costs like 5 septums on the black market, no less, over here we have the tomato gang, bought these as well, Shady Sam outside the city has the best freaking deals. Welcome back to the Champion of Super Deal Challenge with Marina Freaking Mystifier, where we go for 100% completion in Oblivion. In the last episode, we made our way back from the Lake Area's caverns, stopped by Harm's Folly, did a few miscellaneous things around the Imperial City waterfront area, and now we are back home, where we shall get drunk on wine. Actually, the wine we're going to be picking up today is not for drinking, rather... It's quest related. I recovered six bottles of Shadow Banish wine. I should bring them back to Narusa. They want it in for my final reward. Wonderful. Now then, today we're gonna go beggar chasing. There are about five beggars in Imperial City. Some of them we've probably talked to before, but I just want to be super safe. This is for a future master quest, so we might as well get it out of the way now. Have mercy. Just one coin. It's not a flattering angle, Ankus. One more coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. Sure. I'm a big shoe fan. Thank you, kind lady. Any rumors? The Tiber Septum Hotel is a nice place. It's not cheap, though. I love you, Wes Johnson. Blessings of a new upon you. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi there. I'm going to say, nice to see you again. Oh, looks like the whole thieves skills here right now. Now that we have dealt with puny Ancus, we should head over to the Temple District, and I do believe there's another beggar here in the district, but... You're always I'm always... I, I feel so loved. I believe the beggars are spread out across the city, different places they sleep, different diseases they can give you. So don't get into a fist fight with them. Good afternoon. So, I don't really frequent the Temple District too much. You what might remember it, me. Citizen? Given this place a lot of crap in the last one. But I'll find it. I'll sniff out that beggar. Just follow the stench. Where art thou? She might just be walking the streets, but she has to sleep somewhere too. That's the thing. Oh shit, what? I didn't do- Did he just summon a- Uh oh, okay. Looks like things are gonna be a little more tricky in the Imperial City. Don't oh, worry, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. They were stalking me through the alley, hoping to ambush me. Oh. He came. Oh, he. Come on. Give me some help here. He came to help me just in time. Oh no, he's held up by the clan fair. Oh. Oh boy. You really wanna do this, huh? You really wanna do this, lady? Uh. Even the innkeeper coming at it with his fists. Paralyzed clan fair and all. Wonderful. I need a bit more charge on this. There we go. And we got that. Dawn is breaking and so is your face. Uh. Thank you so much. What is it, citizen? I. All right. It's just another day on the job. Afternoon, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much, you brave, brave man. I... Farewell, citizen. Farewell. And who was this mysterious... I thought maybe he was the innkeeper from that inn, but maybe he isn't. Who's... My name is Hastrel Otters, and I'd like to talk about Akatosh. You know what? You can talk about whoever and whatever you want. Goodbye. My savior. Is there a murder here? Quite mysterious. Styrbjorn had a nice butt, though. Man. Okay, well, I almost got ambushed in an alleyway and murdered. That's certainly gonna spice up the city life a little bit. Now more Mythic Dawn agents are going to... Oh, is that a bigger... Ooh, hello. Have pity on an old war veteran. I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. There you go. Thank you, kind lady. Am I really gonna ask about rumors with every single one? Good news from Kavach for a change. Yeah. Okay, so, here's the thing. We will need to get some more speechcraft levels. Certainly. 
Mm, certainly. We can't even get it with her. She likes us too much. Okay, that sucks. Hey, Trennis. Oh, you, you scared me. I was off in my happy place, and you just popped in and wrecked the whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Everybody loves me. Why? Goodbye. I'm not quite sure. I wanted to play a little speechcraft minigame a little, but let's forget about it then. Okay, Temple District. Still a bad place to be, it seems. You're going to get stabbed or not, anyway. Let's go looking in the Talos Plaza District, a more Good respectable district. I mean, the Temple District is too, but apparently it's kind of crap. Oh, there we I see him. It is a privilege. My children are starving. My children will- Yes, yes, your children. Thank you, kind lady. Give those your children, have them chew on that. Blessings Good thing we have the Black Horse Courier. Okay, so that was the beggar in the Talos Plaza district, but this is also Umbacano's place. Roll up in this crib and just deliver a few more statues. Now. Good to see you again, man. Yes, show me up and then I'm just gonna go in front of you. We can also deliver the quest because we did manage to get the high, the high, the, the high fane. The treasure hunter. We went to the high fane and got, we got an artifact. Nom 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 nom. It's kind of rude that you tell me to take a seat, but if I even touch this cheese, then Joel Ring's gonna really make my head ring. Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? I just so happen to have this. Yes. You learned that it is the ruin now known as Malada. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Would I be here if I didn't have it? Wonderful! You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you, if you are interested. A rather urgent one. Okay, so nothing you can possess. It just said quest updated, it did not say quest completed. Which has me a little worried. And it's making me think that maybe the game is expecting me to go and give my share of the gold to the dead Khajiit who wanted to help me out earlier. Was he a Khajiit or an Argonian? It's a bit of a difference, but the voice is the same. Anyways, we're not going to be doing his other tasks just yet. I want to make sure I deliver him all the statues before we embark on his final quests. Yes. Have you found another statue for me? Yes. Well done. Yes. Well done. There we go. Be seeing you. That brings us up to five statues, it looks like. May the wind be on your back. There we go. Look at that. Five out of ten. Too much water. Let's go. You see, that was a reference to a review by IGN. We played, uh, doesn't matter. Now then, let's check out the quest log here. Current quests. Oh no, it is com it, it is completed. Good, good. Nothing you can possess has been finished properly. Good. We just have five statues left to get as well. Point. How about mixing up some potions? Actually, I'm probably going to need to do that soon if I want to level my alchemy up. You might say it's a better idea to level it from 98 to 99 and then read from 99 to 100. But I don't know. I just kind of want to get the book read as soon as possible. I, I heard screaming coming from the abandoned house. Do you think it's haunted, like they say? Without question. Speak. Heard any news? He says something about an abandoned house and screaming. It, it wasn't texted, but that was interesting. Okay, let's hopefully not get stabbed in an alley again as I go looking for the beggar. The beggar of the Elven Gardens district. Well, I wonder if they have some sort of union. They only, you know, and there are strict rules set in place for what district you can be what a beggar in. There can't be two beggars in the same district and so on and so forth. They seem to respect each other's borders and privacy. Where art thou? And I'm so sorry. Cannot sleep. Cannot find my beggar. I need someone to talk to. 
So I can finish up the master quest for speechcraft from this weird lady. He was here the whole time. Frawl of the faker? One more coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. Our Oblivion, our Bethesda just admitting to him being a faker now. If I had a question about heavy armor. Thank you, kind lady. You're welcome. So, Blessings fourth beggar in the town has been checked out. Now, there's actually something else we want to do here in the Elven Gardens district. We want to be on the lookout for a man named Othrelos. Now, he is one of the... What is this chest? He is one of the more advanced trainers in Sneak. And now that we have passed a certain threshold in Sneak, we will be able to embark on the Sneak Master quest. But in order to do that, we need to be pointed in the direction of the Sneak Master trainer. And she does happen to reside in the city, but I do believe we need to get a bit of a... We need to be pointed in the right direction first, I believe. I'm not sure if I can go straight to her, so we're just gonna play it by the book. And... The name just seems a little elfy to me, so I'm just looking around for people who might be elves. <sighs> Would he be home? I should probably... Maybe I should just break in in the middle of the night. I mean, that that prove I'm pretty sneaky, right? Or just... a bad person. Let's wait until midnight. Let, let's give him a little midnight visit, just to make sure we can... catch him in the act. Okay. Then, I think we are going... To be hidden by the shadows. Boom. Beautiful shot. A beautiful elf. Hey. Arthralos. I'm a sneak. Oh, wow. Advanced sneak, in fact. And I train sneaks. No law against it. Uh, whoa, that, that dialogue took me off guard. Oh, this guy's great. The watch can't touch me. I'm careful, private-like. Don't like people following me. Sure, it makes people nervous seeing me sneak around. Too bad. This guy's awesome. You want more training? Then you'll have to go to the best. Marana Rian, here in the Imperial City. She can help you better than I. Ah, sneak training. Thank you so much. Ooh, you can pay off fines and bounty as well, huh? It doesn't surprise me that he's in the Thieves Guild, really. Shadow hide you. Shadow... Oh. Oh, is that how... Oh, okay, I see. Whoa. Looks like somebody enjoys him sneaking into their chambers late at night. And we're right by the Market District. So, right now, sneak training. Which is going to... I think she's wandering the city a little. We're gonna go look for Marana in a little bit. And complete that quest. See whatever requests she might have for a master sneak. But for now, we are going to go to the copious coin purse and have a wonderful little chat with our best friend. Thoronir. And make a good bargain. At the same time, we've got to keep our eyes open for... Oh, it's raining. Well... Good thing beggars don't really have a place to go when it rains, so she'll be easy to find. Simplicia the Slow. I can see you're a kind soul, gentle lady. Oh, the only reason I'm even talking to you is because of a quest. Thank you, kind lady. You don't care, though. That's fine. Lessons oh, wow, I suddenly felt... Oh, that's why. <laughs> Got a little scared there for a second. Well, I think it's about time we made a good deal. Don't you? I feel like it. Let's go stop by. We're just gonna sell things here. No matter if we could could have gotten a better profit elsewhere. It is good to see you again. Hello. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Nothing interesting. Bow a good fire. price for a good customer. Bow the place. I mean, Dagger of Extreme Pet. Mm. Um, I should put it away if I'm not gonna keep it around. I, I shouldn't sell it. It's it's history, okay? Ebony short sword, frostworm bow, glass daggers one by one, staff of storms. 
You got a great deal there. Paralysis staff is always nice. I really should have used that in more encounters now, but it's swapping between things. You got a great Get that. Staff ruin could be useful at some point. Fallen drawing definitely want to keep. Or exit a dynamo. That's a good deal. Armor crafters gauntlets we can get rid of as well. Base ring of light. And That's some of this stuff. Probably most of the rings that I don't have need for them at the moment. Granite mill of luck could be cool, but a fine. That's a good deal. I think I gotta get rid of it. Nihilism, shock shield too, I think. Some of the mithril gear. One of the journeyman calcinators. A master retort, in fact, which is kind of fun. Chameleon potions I should keep around. Poisons, right? We actually have a couple of poisons now as well. That's quite... I mean, they're, they're a little weighty. Mm, they're a little weighty. But still, I think poisons could be cool. That paralysis does not last long enough. It's too weak. Cure disease don't need. Could poison no. That seems a fair price. Potion of healing. I only keep the I strong stuff now. Hard I can afford to be a bit more picky. Shock damage, shock... Oh, I should use more poisons, actually. I've forgotten. They're even a thing. Skuma we should always keep in case of emergency. You never know. You've... That's a good deal. Strong potion of absorption. Just... I don't know if that effect warrants that sell price, but I'll, I'll take your money. I will. A good price. Some you of these you. weaker ones we can just straight up get rid of. And then I want to keep most ingredients and most mixing done until we can benefit from it. Andre's letter. Who is Andre? Oh, and oh, I think that was the man who was dead at the bottom of Dive Rock. A so transaction. I'll just give you a, a letter so you can read that at night and cry yourself to sleep. That's a Get rid of this. A note. I probably shouldn't sell it if I'm not 100% sure what it does. And screw the petty soul gem. Screw the creator soul gem. I'll just sell that too. Why not? That's and we can get rid of good. some of this. Flawless diamonds I just got from a poor you farmer. A you know, deal. that's how it goes. You got Wonderful effects of the scaling system. Okay. Looks like we're a little lighter right now. I appreciate your business. I appreciate yours. Please return. Wonderful. Now then. We punch a guard in the face. Kind of want to punch a guard in the face. Hey, you! Stop! You violated the law. I sure did. You got me. Oh, I feel so bad right now. How could I have done such a thing? Hope you rot, criminal scum. Oh, I deserve it. I've been bad. Lock me up. <laughs> Here we go. Peace and quiet. Is everything removed? Wow. Seeing an inventory like that is quite odd. Now I have minus in willpower too. I think I should try to... You can't even cure yourself in this city because the temple isn't... So, here's what we're gonna do. I am going to serve my time and wait until it decreases the right skill. I wanted to decrease my alchemy skill. And if it decreases my alchemy skill, I'll be A-OK. -okay. There we go. Alchemy skill decreased. I still like... How I just keep dropping all of these clothes outside the prison every time I exit. Speak. So I probably want to place them in a... I don't know, I should... I should find a barrel. I mean, the barrels probably get reset, but this can be my... Prisoner gear barrel. I like that thought. Just put away all of this. There we go, so I can just stop by here and... Just place them there. They despawn that, so be it. Okay, BAM! Stop right there, criminal scum! We're still gonna need one more drop, so we can drop to 98, read the book, and then train. So here we go again. Hey, did you see that? Your sneak skill increased by one. So there's another way to train sneak. I think also security can increase when you're in jail. That's a fun little... That's a fun little side effect, I suppose. Boom. Alchemy skill decreased. We are no longer a master of alchemy. It's sad, but it was necessary in order to be able... You took my book! It counts as stolen goods. 
Oh, there's not even anybody here. Okay. Thank you. Speak. So nice of them. Just let the prisoners walk right in and grab their stuff. Alchemy skill increase. Boom. The book has been read. Note that down and check it off the Cut. list. Then we're just gonna put away our stuff here. Add it to the collection. And then, because we can't be walking around town looking like this, I think... I am... Actually, I want Marina's outfit on right now. Probably probably leave the shackles off. You know, it's just... Just a little bit of advice for you. Oh, there we go. I want to feel like a prim and proper lady for once. I don't think I have shoes, though, so I think I'll just equip those. There we go. Look at that. Prim and proper. Nobody would suspect me of any crimes. I would never. Never. Okay, so we still don't have Nightshade, I do believe, right? Hmm. So you might want to go on a little bit of an alchemy sp What the? I think I dropped this here earlier, didn't I? Uh, I shouldn't just drop it out in the world like that. At the, I mean, it's stolen, so I probably saw it as heavy to carry. I, sh I should deposit it somewhere just so we could despawn safely. Okay. There are two alchemy shops here. Let's go to the Gilded Carafe first and foremost. Which is my favorite shop of the two. The main ingredient is just something off about it. Now, I can't quite remember how the experience is. So if we're now on 2%, I know we have a couple of potions we can make already. So... Oh, we have to combine ingredients? Wow, I feel like such a peasant now. I can't just make them with one? It's really rough. <laughs> I have to play the game normally? What is this? Oh, what? Harada? Oh, right, Venison has that property too. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. That's really worth it. 205 points for that amount of seconds. And then just take one hit of damage. That's actually really good. I guess Fire Salts don't have anything. Okay, how much did that do? 44. Alchemy is too easy. Some skills are so slow to train, like in Marksman is so slow. But Alchemy, which is even easier to train, it's just so. Hello again. Hey. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. What yeah. will it be? Wait, Expert Calcinator. Ah, you know what? I'm not even gonna haggle. You're a fine negotiator. I'm gonna give her a little bit of extra income. Wonderful. I haven't even used my spell on her. That's fine. I think I'm gonna buy all of her ingredients, really. I wouldn't. Just so I can make some potions out of it. I just heard I wouldn't pleasure. That's a There we go. There's some nightshades. You. You. Wonderful. You drive a hard bargain. I've probably bought more than enough now, but I might as well just go on a Pleasure. alchemy spree. There we go. Come back and see me again. Question is, will Dark remember okay. to not use the nightshade? I'll probably forget. If I drop something in her locale, it'll still be mine, right? It won't be considered stealing. I hope so, at least. If I drop the nightshade here. Okay, then I just gotta make sure I keep looking at it, so I'll remember to pick it up. Okay, I'm, prob I'm probably gonna speed this portion up. Now we have a new calcinator too. Because now I'm gonna be making quite a lot of potions. Okay, 99% of the way there. I can't remember if it's eating raw ingredients or picking them. I think it's eating them. So, I'll eat that. Made the bergamot seed, loaf of bread, some cheese, dragon's tongue, draw wax. Mmm, that'll do it. Your stained fingers attest to your diligence in mixing potions and learn their secrets. You're now a master of alchemy. No, it takes two or more ingredients to make a potion. As a master alchemist, you can create a potion from a single ingredient. That looks so much better. Oh, that was so worth it. Look at that. 
Now we don't have to mess with alchemy ever again, because there are no more books to read in that skill. This is what I want from, for all of our skills, even acrobatics like that. Totally worth it. Wonderful. Okay. I'll just make a couple more potions now. I used the night shades. I knew I was gonna use them if I had them in my inventory. I, I can't be bothered to do all of that again. So, I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to count on there being more of that ingredient at the, the main ingredient, really. I think that's gonna be our bet. We have some vampire dust, and I don't really, I think we wanna go and sell that to the, the society. I can remember what district they're in. Okay. Thank you for... I just gotta make sure that our alchemy stayed there. Perfect. Oh, I'm so happy about that. A round, delicious number. Oh, makes me very happy. The main ingredient. Do you have any nightshades? Okay, we're not gonna go on a spree here because it's rather pointless. Any friend... Let's see. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. We can't find the master version in store, so we pretty much got what bargain we want. at any a fine bargain for you. Just get the just get the good stuff. You know. Not the heavy stuff though. That's pointless. Our potions have also gotten more powerful now since we got that new calcinator, so that's That's a good deal. It's quite good. Do you not have nightshade? Ugh. That's fine. We'll find some on the way. <laughs> uh, a pleasure to serve you. I hope. Well, we'll see. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So as you can see, these potions now. We should do a side by side comparison because they have seen an upgrade. Poisoned apple. I actually think we'll get an opportunity to do that during the next Dark Brotherhood quest if we want to. We can give it a shot at least. Any friend of the Okay. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Yeah, let's let's sell off some of these potions now one by one and get some training done. Like look at the chameleon, it went from 33% to 39% and lasts 9 seconds longer. And if you go to damage health, that goes from 6 points to 7 points and lasts even longer. And when it comes to health, we now have restore health 12 points instead of 10 points where it was at earlier. Magic has also gone up like 3 points. It's considerable. Okay. Got those out of the way. Good day. Now we have a pretty considerable poison collection as well, which I'd like to utilize a little bit. I don't really have any, I mean, Fortify Restoration is not that important. It's nice to spend less Magicka when we're healing, but I think a poison there could be, could be good. Okay, no Nightshade. That's okay. I wonder if Thornair would sell Nightshade. It's not super important. I'm sure we can manage to get it. What we really should focus on now is doing that master is sneak co cameras at an awkward angle. I think it's going to pan down in just a second when it realizes. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. What, is this your stock? Right, I was like, master. they don't sell master retort, but that's because I got it. Sold it to them. Please. Okay, the camera wasn't adjusted for his awkward short height. Oh boy, that's really cute. Marana Rion. She's currently walking the city. Okay, let's see if we can find her and try not to get ambushed by cultists. I suppose that'd be nice. 
prospect of a quiet life has been put behind us long time ago. Please show your respect for the Imperial Palace. Please show your respect for citizens by not blabbering to them when they do not wish to engage in conversation. How about that? You ever thought about that? You ever thought that your actions might have consequences? Okay, is this where she... This would be your house. Wonderful. I mean, if she's a sneak trainer, just imagine she'd be cool with me popping in. I mean, that's... She's here to teach the art of being stealthy and sneaky, so this just seems like part of the test, really. If she gets mad, I'll just... I don't know, I'll apologize. <laughs> I really want her to help me. Help me be the very best. Now, we can't use any trainers to increase our skills, but the requests are still important to do. Wow, somebody's hungry. I could pick up the venison and such, but I think they make some pretty... I didn't actually mean to start looting this, but I might as well. I don't think there's going to be anything in here, though. It seems like one of those chests that are just hanging about. It's going to have like a clay goblet and a plate in it, you know. Yeah, calipers, a paintbrush, and some yarn. Marana, are you up here, hiding away from the world? Where art thou? Are you sleeping? What's the clock? It's 10.30. What are... Is this really... Is this part of her test? Is she just hiding away in like the most remote region she knows? That might be. Wake up, lady! Well met. <laughs> You're a stranger who came into my bedroom and woke me from my sleep. Well met. Training? From me? A few too many loose lips, it seems. It's not something I want to be public knowledge, if you understand my meaning. Very well. Simple task for you. I just dropped a favorite coin of mine into my pocket. If you can steal it from me, I'll train you. Oh, challenge accepted. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, aren't you tired? I, I, I bet you are. Told me to steal from you and then you immediately go back to sleep. This is... Interesting. Touch that booty. Hello. That was a difficult quest, you guys. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Do you mean this coin? Well, there it is. Not the best job I've seen, but you did it. You were unconscious. All right, I'll help you hone your technique. Hmm. Well. Quest completed, and she really wants to talk about these topics in particular. They appear twice. Farewell. Are oh, you ready to face the day now? Just needed a stranger to grow up your butt first. That's just a good way to start the day, I suppose. Gonna have some of your massive breakfasts? It's like she's Bilbo Baggins expecting the dwarves to drop in the door anytime. Well, I think that was most of the business around the city concluded, other than, of course, the society. If I can remember where they kept their base, that was here in the temple district, wasn't it? Wasn't that over here? So, yes, that's Serador's house. We want to stop by the basement and sell off some of the vampire dust. We don't need it for the money's sake, but it just... Hello there. Wow, you've upgraded a little bit. Nice. I don't think we saw him in Daedric the last time. I think maybe there was Ebony or something. Still cool. Okay, so... Our sister returns to the fold. Right, you're the one. Excellent. 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 Return to me when Ah, oh, okay. Excellent. 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 Hello. Excellent. You know what we could do? If we play the speechcraft minigame with him and make him hate us, maybe he'll attack us and then we can get his gear. I didn't know Cyrodiil was a vampire, I swear! Oh, don't worry. I serve Roland now. Please, accept my apologies for my error in judgment. Oh, you're forgiven. I can't even do it with them. 
Because if we train a little bit of speechcraft, that's really going to go a long way when it comes to helping us reach the personality cap of 100 near the end. I can see. Yes. Tell me more. Everybody loves me. Blessings it's so hard being popular. You. We're here to serve. What about you? I'm listening. Good. You're about to face the you law. Can't. That's. Oh, that's. Gr All right. <laughs> Don't waste your flattery on me. I'm not a fan. Well, I'm gonna spend a, a little bit of time Don't doing this. Your... Where'd you get that? Interesting. Are you serious? I am. Move along. Okay, he hates me now. So, that helped us out a little bit in the stats department for personality. But other than that, there's not much more we really want to do in the city. We've sold off some things we want to sell. Talked to all of the beggars we wanted to talk to. Done a couple of quests, in fact. Been ambushed in an alleyway by two complete strangers. And now I believe our only objective before we depart is to deliver venerable vintage. It's a real shame we didn't find any nightshade. Well, I say we didn't find any nightshade. It's a real shame I used it in a potion that I ultimately did not need. But I'm sure we can find some on the way. I think we'll be fine. Ah. Let's just walk along. Who needs horses anyways? Much faster to just <laughs> roll down the bridge by ourselves. Or just roll sideways. Or, you know, just leave the city in style. There's times to walk, st walk these days when you can jump. I'm going so fast, the textures don't even have time to load properly. Wow, we're still seeing the low LOD version of that entire building. That's interesting. Well, I believe... What is her name? Vanessa, Verusa, Vanessa, Vedusa, something... Nerusa, there we go! Welcome back, Traveler. Hey, your name? Any luck on those bottles of Shadow Banish wine yet? Yes. Well, apparently the wine is so rare... Uh, Besides, the vent... I know... Was I... <laughs> Do we pick Shadow Vanish wine or wine? I'm at a loss for words. You actually found six! These will hold an honored place in my collection. I don't know what else to say, but thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your finder's fee. Worth every single coin, I assure you. I'll tell you what else I'll do since you seem so resourceful. If you find any more bottles of the wine, I'll gladly pay you well for them. Interesting. Remember me if you find more Shadow Banish wine. Definitely not worth a thousand gold, but quest complete. A venerable vintage. Well, that's been on our to-do list for quite some time. I believe we could check when we first got this quest. Yeah, the third of Hearthfire in the previous year. So, you know, we got that in the autumn, and now we're approaching the the early months of, of this year, so... Oh boy, it's been... it's been a journey. That it has. Though we've been playing for quite some time now, and since we wrapped up our, con our business in the city, and we're about to head out for Bruma, we might as well conclude it here, I think. Though there's a thing we want to do before we get to Bruma, and that is stop by Mephala Shrine and do her quest, which is going to involve quite a bit of murder and deception. So if that sounds like things that you enjoy doing, tune in to the next episode. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.